From the Wabash Valley Chevy Dealers Sports Desk, here's Sports Director Grant Pugh. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back this week's WTWO. Bob Gatt of Davies County Athlete of the Week is a member of one of our last remaining high school football teams still playing in the area. WTWO's Rick Simler has more. Riverton Park is riding a five-game winning streak, their program's longest winning streak since 2005. And one of the key reasons why is Kyle Price. The senior had a monster game this past Friday, rushing for 153 yards and three touchdowns to help the Panthers win their 1A sectional semifinal over North Vermillion. For the season, Price has dominated both sides of the ball. He's rushed for more than 1,300 yards and 20 TDs. He's also top in the state in 1A in sacks. His head coach Brad Sanders says Kyle is a difference maker on the field. We are fortunate that we don't have very many guys that play both ways this year due to our numbers, but you know he's a guy that has been able to play both ways. To have a two-way player like that's pretty special. Everything in the offseason, just putting in all the work. Um, even outside of stuff we do as a team here, I've been working on my own, um, doing you know workouts on my own, but I think back to that again, just the connection we have as a team, just it helps a lot, you know, with coming together and just being good as a whole. RP will need another big game from Price this Friday. The Panthers host sixth ring South Putnam in a 1A sectional championship game. Thank you, Rick. That's just one of the big games you're going to see Friday night on sectional championship night. Let's break them down for you. Sectional championship Friday, a lot of fun. Here's the games involving Valley teams. Linton Miners travel to Greencastle for their second showdown with the Tiger Cubs. The two played on Saturday a couple weeks back after some weather. We touched on the Panthers. They welcome South Putnam, 7 o'clock kick. North Davies on the road at Providence. Cougars look for that sectional crown. And Cloverdale heads to Sheridan Friday. Their season alive. Find out which teams advance to regionals next week. 